what happens when we die. When we die, our soul departs from our body. And the soul goes on a journey that has many stages to it. One stage of the journey of this soul is when the soul descends into the grave to be reunited with our bodies. And when the soul is coming down, it witnesses the funeral, and your body is laying there on the ground, wrapped up, getting ready to be buried. And you're descending, and you're seeing this, and you're hearing it, you're experiencing it. And when the people then take your body and place it in the grave, your soul descends in there, into the grave, to be reunited with your body. And then your loved ones, your friends will start shoveling dirt, placing it in the grave, and throwing it on top of you. And you will feel it fall on top of you. And they will do this until you are completely covered up, and you will be there in the grave, covered up, and you will have consciousness. After your family makes some dua and says some nice, kind words about you, they'll walk away. They'll leave. As the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said that you will hear their footsteps as they walk away and you will be there alone in the grave by yourself. Darkness, silence. Then, two angels will come to you, Munkar and Nakir. They will ask you three questions, perhaps the most important questions you will ever be asked. What is your religion? Who your Lord? Who is your prophet? If you answer these questions correctly, you'll have peace. You'll have pleasure until the day of judgment. But if you don't answer these questions correctly, your stay in the grave will be full of pain. At this point, you are probably saying to yourselves, I'm good because I'm a Muslim, and I know the answers to these questions and I'll answer them correctly. The answer is not given with your tongue. The answer is not given with your brain. The answer is given with your heart. What is in your heart will come out at that moment. If you spent your life not really striving to be a Muslim, a true Muslim, trying to practice, then Islam really was not in your heart. We are not asked to be the best character like the Prophet, peace be upon him, but we must strive for it so that on that day when these angels come to us and they ask us these questions, what is in our heart will naturally come forward. This is the end of this episode. Subscribe for more content.